welcome to Euro PCR 2024. My name is Georg Nickenick. I'm a cardiologist from Bonn in Germany and I'm very happy to be together here with a very esteemed colleague of mine from Spain, Roy Estevez from Vigo. He's a very experienced interventional cardiologist and we are talking about a hot topic today about tricuspid regurgitation and the treatment of tricuspid regurgitation because usually it is associated with high morbidity and high mortality rates and one of the newest kits on the block is re replacement therapy for tricuspid regurgitation and here we have a, a new option called CardioValve and I know that you are experienced already with CardioValve. Would you mind to tell us about this device, about the specialities and the special properties of CardioValve? Thank you, you're happy to be here. Yes, CardioValve is a new device, a new valve replacement uh, device that can be used either mitral or tricuspid position. We are talking now about tricuspid. One of the main features is a low profile valve with a dual frame. Uh, we have 12 ventricular legs that will capture the leaflets, one atrial flange that captures leaflets and annulus, and then the expansion of the valve. Uh, it comes in three different sizes, and uh, importantly, as, as well, a uh, proprietary design, uh, anti PBL. A system that is an inflatable cuff that uh, uh, uses the blood entering during systole in the in the valve to create a cuff that prevents PVL. Yeah, that prevents greatly PVL, and the size is, is matters a lot because in the tricuspid space usually we're dealing with large annuli, so it's a good news to have this. Absolutely, we have, as I mentioned before, three different sizes. Mm -hmm. But most of cases we are using the larger devices that can go up to 55 millimeters of the Okay, animals. great. And as I know, you have a vast experience already with the device. Would you tell us about, about your patients, about the experience with CardioValve? Yes, we started our experience approximately one year and a half ago. And we were able to treat 10 patients in this period of time. Uh, with a screen uh, pass more than 50%, which is uh, also uh, very interesting for this device, a high rate of yeah. acceptance. Um, those patients were typically functional TR patients, that what usually we treat more, of uh, high risk, high risk score values, and largely very symptomatic. And uh, I have to say that we obtain uh, practically success in all cases that we implanted the valve. How was tricuspid regurgitation uh, yeah. reduced? We reduced tricuspid regurgitation to none or mild in all cases, which is reproducible okay. and that's uh, it's amazing. Good and news. no PVLs to this inflatable cuff and the sizes properly? Usually chosen. we can see mild PVL at the early deployment phase, but usually corrects in few minutes after the valve is implanted. And some of the cases that we have mild PBL uh, at discharge were corrected at 30 days. So you reduce TR so dramatically. How about RV remodeling? Uh, that's a very good question. We have followed these patients with CT scan, most of them, and we observe a huge RV in best remodeling. Both end diastolic and end systolic volumes go down around 35%. With I'm sure I'm sure in the follow-up will uh, translate into improvement in clinical endpoints. Maybe one additional fact on the, on the safety. There is this wording that safety may be compromised with replacement. What's your experience? What's your take on this? My main safety concern will be the axis because it's a large bore axis. Mm, the beginning of our experience, we used the cut down, but now uh, the cardioval has made a big step forward changing the delivery system, now it's fully percutaneous and the bleeding complications has decreased a lot. Further from that, we haven't seen any uh, signal of, of uh, hazardous complications with this device. Yeah, beautiful. This corresponds to, to our study, more or less. Uh, yeah, absolutely. This, uh, our series comes in a part of a larger study, which is target study that I know you are the PI, so if you can elaborate in this study. Sure, thank you. Uh, so the target study is a study which we will do together in 150 patients to be recruited. And right now we have 77 patients already in the treatment. We are recruiting very fast with centers in, in, in Europe mostly. 
And so far the experience mirrors your experience. TR is completely wiped out in most, in the vast majority of the patient and safety seems to be also a very, very good. And we are still enrolling, but I hope we will stop enrolling in a few months from now and have the results ready to present in six months or one year, which will be very important for the community. That's good. So you're, you have to conclude this and give the main points of our discussion. What will be for CardioValve? The main points are it's an easy to use uh, system. It seems to be very efficient and safety seems to be also very promising. So uh, we are looking forward for the future results of this trial. So thank you very much for your attention. Thank you.